Welcome to the channel and today I'm showing you guys a calculator for the Tavern project. I feel like a lot of people wanted something like this and here it finally is. Before we get any further in the video though, remember nothing in this video is financial advice. Please always do your own research and only invest what you are willing to lose. So if you don't know, the Tavern is a sort of node project where you can have a brewery NFT that produces mead. As we can see, I currently have three of them, which is producing six mead per day. And at the current price, that is $51 per day. I've got 42 pending and in the store, you can actually buy upgrades. So you can increase your production rate or you can decrease the fermentation period with these upgrades. So these are all part of the calculator. The only thing that isn't in the calculator is the brewer's reputation stuff and the uh, claim taxes, but we're just going off raw mead generated. So as we can see in here, with the calculator, first off, you want to input the mead price. So this is actually, it's gone up a little bit. So I'll just copy that and update the mead price. Actually, the thing I need to mention, in order to edit this, you need to hit file, make a copy. File, make a copy. That's the only way you can edit it. Don't send me some request email. File, make a copy. So then you want to input how many breweries you have. So I would input three. Here are the upgrades though. So as we can see in the store, you can buy two upgrades for production, reinforced vats, which increase them by 5% and metal kegs, which increase them by 10%. So these all take into account if you applied it onto every single brewery. So for example, if I add vats, that will increase my production by 5%. So my mead per day at the base level would go up to 6.3. Or if I put metal kegs, I'd get a 10% increase, which would bring my mead up to 6.6. .6. But I currently don't have any of those. So fermentation. If you do not know, your brewery has a 14 a day fermentation period. And then after that, your brewery can start to level up. So there are three tiers. We have tier one, tier two, and tier three. As you can see in here, if I just put this back to one brewery, we can see a level one produces two mead per day, a level two produces three mead per day, and a level three produces four mead per day. So how long do they take to actually upgrade? So there's 14 days before anything happens, nothing at all. Then 14 more days pass. So as we can see here, level one, 14 days, now you're fermented. After this 14 day period, you can start earning XP. So it takes another 14 days to hit level two. So 28 days all in, you'll go from level one to level two. And then from level two, it's an extra 14 days to get level three, which you would hit after 42 days. So the fermentation upgrades, of course, decrease this time. So the cool fermentation reduces it by 5%, warm reduces it by 10%, and turbo reduces it by 15%. And as we can see, if you had turbo fermentation, you would hit level three at 35 days. So at the top, of course, we can see our initial investment of mead. So obviously it cost 100 mead for a brewery. And at the current price, that is the cost. And here we can see the number of days for the payback. This formula is uh, super messy, ignore me, but it should work perfectly fine, I believe. As we can see, if you just had one base brewery with nothing, no changes at all, to get 100 mead, it would take you 42 days. As we can see, total mead in this column, you hit 100 mead, at 42 days which your brewery would also be level three and now you'd be earning four mead per day and here we can see that obviously the total value of mead you would have earned again you have to take into account that there is a claim tax so this value would actually be cheaper if you do claim however we're more just looking at the mead values because you can obviously compound and create another brewery after 100 mead but here if say if we did an upgrade by added on reinforced vats these cost 10 mead in the store as we can see over here if it loads reinforced vats costs 10 mead gives me an increase of five percent so now my investment is 110 mead and the payback would take 43 days you can see you'd be earning 2.1 mead on a level one and then on a level two would be 3.15 and a level three would be 4.2 here we have the other upgrade we have uh, metal kegs which cost 30 mead and of course, that is a 10% production increase. Here we can see the fermentation. So if you did cool fermentation, the time decreases by 5%. So you could hit a level three at three days earlier, 39 days. Or if you went for warm, you would hit level three at 37 days. 
or if you went for turbo yeast, you'd hit a level three at 35 days. So you're probably wondering what is the best strategy? And it's buy nothing. That is it. That is the lowest pay. Well, if you're if you're looking for just raw payback, just don't buy anything. Just buy breweries. Of course, they're probably going to run out of supply, but that is the best method. Because I do not believe these upgrade. It's the upgrade is just per brewery. You can't buy cool fermentation and it works for all of them. I, you have to buy one for each brewery. I do believe, because obviously after you do a renovation, you can upgrade your brewery in this in the that so we can see here upgrade you can select your renovation and upgrade it so the current best method i believe best strategy is to do nothing just buy as many breweries as you can because that has the lowest payback as we can see if we increase the production per day the payback goes up one day obviously you'd be earning a bit more but you have to think an issue you're spending more and then we can see metal kegs production goes up to 47 so I guess if you had a little bit of mead, you could buy the reinforced vats because your payback days only goes up a little bit. Say you don't have an extra 100 mead, but you have 10 mead, you could make this upgrade and it's okay. But the kegs for 30 more mead is not worth it. You may as well, if you have 30 mead, try and save up for 100 and get another brewery. In terms of the fermentation, as we can see, cool fermentation. Of course, your stuff will level up faster. And also there is a hidden... Uh, like benefit you get is it will help your reputation as the faster your brewery is fermented you will start getting reputation points which again these aren't included so in my stats it's a little bit skewed saying the fermentation upgrades are bad but they do have some extra benefits so cool fermentation your payback would be 47 days warm would be 55 days and turbo yeast would be 76 days so yeah feel free to play around with this edit it make some changes I feel like it should be helpful for the community. Make sure you actually check out my socials. Maybe drop me a follow on Twitter or even subscribe to the YouTube channel because I have been covering the tavern quite a few times on my channel. So yeah, check that out for some details. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. I believe the spreadsheet is right again. It could be wrong. There could be flaws. So let me know. Just tweet me or something if there's an error and I can obviously make some changes. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on my next video.